wasn't gonna do this today um, <laughs> and I don't even know um, how to intro this but I just pulled up outside of Susie outside of additional and actually Ricky's is like that way as well there's like three different stores here I'm not feeling it but um, I need to make a video because I haven't made a video in forever and that's a whole other story as to why that's happening but um, it's kind of rainy this morning I went and brought my car in for a, like a service appointment this morning and I'm actually on vacation this week from work so the whole plan was to film a lot of videos for you guys this week and I don't know if that's gonna happen I really don't um, uh, yeah but um I do I, I guess first of all I just want to say um, thanks to all my new subscribers um, I I think I'm at like almost 2300 now or something and it's just crazy I don't I don't think I've even filmed since I hit 2000 and so I just want to um, just like give you guys like a massive thank you um, I'm really kind of MIA right now for personal reasons and um, it's, it has nothing to do with my channel or anything like that um, but I don't want to completely disappear on you guys so maybe heading into the dressing room will kind of give me something to do and maybe help cheer me up a little bit um, so why don't we do that and uh, hopefully we'll get find some cute stuff uh, I haven't been back to Susie since the like way back when I started my channel I did an inside the dressing room at Susie Shear and I actually found some pretty cute stuff so I don't know what they have for summer because I didn't really try on summer pieces at the time so I'm almost thinking that's probably the best place to go right now um, so why don't we head in there and see if I can find anything oh and real quick I don't know why I took my sunglasses off um, I'm not I did not prepare for this and normally like today I'm just like dressed in like this um, like shirt because it was kind of rainy this morning um, so this like long sleeved off the shoulder shirt from ASOS and a pair of jean cutoffs. So normally if I'm wearing skirts or if I'm wearing anything kind of fitted, um, usually I wear like shapewear panties and I'm like wearing a freaking thong right now, you guys. So, um, if I try on anything super fitted and it looks different <laughs> than it normally does, it's because I'm not wearing any kind of shapewear. Um, not that I wear shapewear all the time and I don't really wear like really constricting shapewear, but I usually always wear, um, like if I'm wearing anything fitted, I'll wear like high-waisted, like Lycra full coverage panties that kind of do the job kind of a little bit like shapewear not like crazy shapewear, but that's normally what I wear today. Not so much. So this is going to be an adventure. <laughs> so anyway, let's go. All right, so I did manage to find some stuff. Um, not that much, but I did find a few pieces to try on. Um, I was really disappointed with the plus section um, today. It was pretty few and far between. So I did actually grab a few pieces from the straight sizes, um, just because I looked a little bit there as well, found a few things that I thought would maybe work. So the first piece, this is from the straight sizes. I just, I just really love the color and I love the neckline and that crochet detail on this top. I didn't get it, of course, because um, I actually recently got a lace kind of crop top fringe type crochet rose, dusty rose colored top from uh, Forever 21 recently that is very similar to this, but it just like it just jumped out at me on the rack because I was just attracted to the color and that neckline. Like I just I just love that neckline on me for some reason. Um, I just think it just draws the eye up and it just makes my shoulders look nice and I don't know I just I just prefer those necklines um, a lot so I thought it was pretty um, of course not worth buying as I mentioned but it was nice it was like a kind of like that heather heathered kind of t-shirt material um, and then that obviously that nice crochet detail at the neck this top was kind of interesting um, it fit a lot different on than it looked on the hanger so it's like this off the shoulder and it's got these this like overlay in the front with this um kind of lace and then also down the back and then the actual body of the top is more fitted 
Um, I'm not sure how I really liked it on me. I I like off the shoulder, but sometimes I find on my body shape that when I wear things off the shoulder, they just look it makes makes me look very boxy. Uh because it, it kind of widens my top half, even though I'm pear shaped. Some people say it balances me balances you out, but for me, I find it just it just makes me look too rectangular. Um I don't know, just how I feel about it, but it is pretty. I think it would have looked good tucked into like a skirt, like a high waisted skirt, so that um, because that the shirt part just hung at a really awkward length. But that overlay was was kind of pretty, um, and it did stay off the shoulder nicely and everything else. So, but yeah, it was just kind of weird, not really worth purchasing as far as I was concerned. So this dress I grabbed in a 2X because they didn't have a three and it was not big enough for my boobs. So it looks like I'm kind of like feeling myself there, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of showing you guys kind of where like the smocked waist kind of hit actually over my boobs as opposed to underneath them. So that didn't really work. Plus the dress was actually really short. It doesn't necessarily look that short on me, um, but as you can see, like the under, like the slip is quite short. It just, it is super short because I have such short legs. So it doesn't look that short, but like the minute I would bend over, like everything would be showing. So it is um, too short for my liking, um, but it was pretty. Kind of looked like a, like a nightgown on me. A lot of times these like fit and flare type like summer dresses end up looking like nightgowns on me. I don't know why. Um, but the ruffles were pretty, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I'm not the hugest ruffle fan. Um, okay, so now big disclaimer again, as I mentioned, no shapewear whatsoever. Um, but I grabbed this skirt. It's kind of like this asymmetrical kind of maxi that has like a huge slip up, slip up the side and this ruching. I grabbed it as like a possible like swim cover because I like to wear the kind of like I like to wear skirt swim covers as opposed to like um, a top or like a kimono. Um, I like to wear skirts over my swim bottoms as my swim cover because I I don't know. I don't I that's what I like to cover. If I'm going to cover anything, I don't really care to cover anything from the waist up. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, so I like to throw skirts on over my swim bottoms. Um, so I thought this would maybe work. I don't know. It was, it was really like the slit was super high and, but it would have been cute as a swim cover for sure. Um, and of course I'd be wearing swim bottoms that would hold me in a lot better than my underwear did. Um, and this pencil skirt, if I had again, like, Again, disclaimer, no shapewear, but um, if I were wearing shapewear, this was a really nice pencil skirt. I just thought it was, and this was also from the straight sizes. This was an extra large in the straight sizes, but it was really stretchy. It was that um, kind of ribbed material, which is actually really nice for like, for camouflaging. I mean, obviously I, I still need like tummy shapewear, but it's nice at kind of camouflaging anything else. Um, that like that ribbed kind of pattern um, really helps. So. Um, it was just a tiny bit short in the back. Like I would probably find I'd have to be pulling it down all the time. Um, oh yeah. See there, I was like telling you guys that I was like, why the hell am I actually filming myself in this? But I did like it. Like I did like it. I just, I would definitely need shapewear and it was just a little bit too short in the back. Um, so this maxi dress was really pretty. I really liked it. Um, I was surprised because I didn't think I was going to like it when I pulled it out because I saw it had like a half slip underneath the skirt and I hate that in maxi dresses it annoys me it irritates me if you have a butt and big thighs and hips it those slips can be really annoying because they tend to always just like ride up um but I did I didn't mind it on this dress and I thought it looked really pretty and I love that like grommet detail around the neckline um the straps the spaghetti straps I had to kind of adjust them all the way and they were kind of cheaply made you could tell the um oh, I'm just showing you the slip there but yeah, the straps were kind of, you could just tell that they were not very sturdy. So that like the top bodice part was like a jersey fabric, um, a t-shirt jersey fabric, and the bottom was not stretchy. It was just a chiffon skirt, but it fit really nice and it was really pretty. So I did like it. And as I said, I like the, I like the detail around the neck with the grommets. Um, it looked pretty. 
I just, yeah, I didn't end up getting it though. But I did like the pattern too. It really kind of, um, I don't know. I just found the, the, the kind of the, it's not a chevron. I don't know what the pattern is, but it is pretty. Like it kind of like that zigzag kind of stripes, I think just does really nice things and draws the eye up. So I liked it. I just filmed my outro and I have to refilm it because when I played it back I realized I had my AC blowing so you could like barely hear me over the sound it was awful but anyway that was a bit underwhelming you guys um the plus section really disappointed me at Susie today because um I noticed that a lot of the um a lot of the pieces that they had were pieces that I had already seen and tried on about three four months ago when I was there so the fact that their stock wasn't really like they didn't have that much new stuff was a little bit disappointing um, or quite a bit disappointing because that was that does that shouldn't really happen um, you know I shouldn't be finding so many pieces that I saw there about four months ago um, but whatever um, I did like that maxi dress at the end it was really pretty um, the only thing is that I actually stepped out of the fitting room um, into the actual store to use the larger mirror to look at it as well. And the half slip underneath that maxi dress was really noticeable because the chiffon layer was actually quite see-through on that maxi. And that kind of bugs me a little bit because uh, a lot of the time when you're shaped the way I am and you've got like bigger thighs, a butt and all that stuff, the half slip tends to ride up. Um, underneath I'm not a big fan of them under maxi dresses this one didn't bother me so much but with the see-through aspect of it it did bother me a little bit more just because like I said when you've got a butt and thighs and all that you know your your th that slip tends to ride up and so if it's see-through you tend to be a little bit more conscious of that and it can be a little bit more you know bothersome or whatever um so I didn't end up getting it. Uh, it wasn't on sale either. It was $50 and it was not on sale. So I was like, no, I left it behind. Um, because I, I actually have a couple things coming. Um, so you guys should be expecting um, a few more videos from me pretty soon um, with a, a few hauls and stuff that it's pretty exciting actually. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and yeah, so, you know, Hit that subscribe button if you uh, want to come back for more and if you have not subscribed already. Again, a big thank you to all my new subscribers and all my subscribers in general. Um, I, yeah, I'm just super happy and just excited to hopefully get some more videos out for you guys. Again, be patient with me. Things are pretty rough right now and um, I don't know how often I'm going to upload, but uh, if because I don't have like a set schedule or anything. If you do want to be notified, I know everyone always talks about that notification bell that you find down there, either on the side, the side, I don't know where I'm pointing right now. But um, if you do want to be uploaded or uploaded, if you want to be uploaded, no, I'm just kidding. Um, if you want to be notified when I upload, then make sure you hit that bell. Um, and yeah, so I guess I will talk to you guys all when I talk to you. And later. bye.